what this means to me to be here today. So I just, again, wanna, I just really, really appreciate you, Ms. Mercedes. Um, so when I got the flyer, when I got the flyer, I'm like, Miss Mercedes, what the heck does it even say, right? <laughs> she said, Jessica Ann. Sabria T, which is T at the end. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so retarded. She said, Jessica Ann, you are not retarded, you're just special. Yeah, special A. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, nah, but I'm special enough to be asked for Miss Mercedes to come speak here. And this, again, is a, a, a really huge honor to be here. Um, and to be offered to speak on National Women's Day, y'all give it up for yourself. Again, thank you so much. I can't. I just can't keep saying thank you. It just means it just the world to me. Okay. Um, then Miss Mercedes asked me to come speak at a tea party, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm not Miss Oprah Winfrey. I'm not. <laughs> So I'm like, she said, Jessica, Ann, I want you to speak about what it means to be a champion. Mm -hmm. Champion, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, oh, that's easy. That's just winning and shit, you know? No, guys, okay. it's not about winning. It's not about winning at all, okay? Miss um, Mercedes is like my little big sister, because I'm older, she's bigger, and she's more she popular. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, I go to her with everything, okay? Even the shows that we watch together, I have to call her and be like, why? Why Miss Mercedes? She said, Jess, it had to be like this. She made me think bigger, okay? A lot bigger. Uh, but she said, just talk about a champion, right? People call me Little Miss Mercedes. Because when people are like, how's your day say? Good. What is good? What does that even look like to you? So I use that today in my life, even at my, my job now. Like when I say what's good. Don't tell me just good. Tell me what what is good what does good look like to you? You know? Um she said, you better come prepare, Jessica. <laughs> I really was I, I wrote this at one o'clock last night, okay? Prepared, alright? So I'm just preparing. So in the process of preparing for this, my partner lost her mother to her addiction two weeks ago. Mm. I lost my mother 10 years ago to the same thing, okay? So now, as I'm trying to help my partner go through her issues, all my wounds are reopened, mm. okay? okay? So I'm doing the best. I'm just thinking, I'm like, champion, champion, champion in my head. What is a champion, okay? So in my head, like I said, I lost my mother to the same thing. So I'm trying to be here the best way that I can for my partner. But y'all, life goes on. People die. Bills have to be paid. Kids have to be fed. Okay? And I, I wasn't going to come to that. I really wasn't because I wanted to be there for my partner. But you know what? This is me. And this is my life. And I have to do what's best for me at this time. Yes, I'm going to a funeral right after this. This is why I'm not in tea party attire, okay. okay? I'm sorry, but right yeah. after this, I have to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be the worst day for her, and it's also going to be hard for me as well. But I'm still here thinking champion, champion, champion. Mm -hmm. I took off the first few days with her to, because it's fucking hard to find your mom dead on the floor, okay? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. So I'm actually very proud of her growth. You would be too. It's just, it's something about seeing your mom laid out under that tarp probably just did something to her, okay? I was scared at first, but like I said, Miss Mercedes, you'd be very proud of her. I know me and her are going through our own issues, but I'm still proud of what she's doing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really, I really was scared, but I, I I'm not. Yeah. But, um. Uh, like I said, I didn't think I wanted to come today, but life is good no matter what. Miss Mercedes taught me that, okay? And regardless, like I said, champions don't wait, they don't they don't have the time to wait around for something to happen to them. You have to go out mm -hmm. and get it. 
I wasn't gonna be 41 years old. She told me, what, what was my what was my rock bottom? Was walking up them, them sober house stairs at 40 years old, thinking like, damn, I should be owning a house right now, mm-hmm. not living in a sober house. But Miss Mercedes told me, she said, Jessica, life begins at 40 years old. And I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. So I got on my grind, I got on my grind, I did what I had to do. But champions, we have to work. We have to work. It's the grit, it's the struggle that we have to go through to become a champion. We don't have time to wait around. Like I said, if you're trying to be better than you were before, you have to work a little bit harder. A little bit to a lot of it. You gotta want it more than you want to breathe. Right now, I want to live more than I want to breathe. Um, The champion has to make significant sacrifices, okay? Before my mom passed away, I had to move away from her in order for her to die for me to live. Which sounds messed up. But if I would have stayed in that situation, I think I would to be right here speaking mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Okay? So that's a sacrifice, you know? Uh, like leaving my partner right now while she's sitting home crying. I'm sorry, but this is me. This is about me right now. Uh, sometimes you have to understand that you have to lose it all so you can win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what some people take for granted, others are fighting for. And believe me, I'm a fighter. You got one life to live. What are y'all gonna do with it? 